Here I'm showing you the amazing power of the 5D Mark III. You can actually see the stars. It's pretty starry out here tonight. Um, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there you go. We're looking at the Big Dipper. This is pretty cool that this camera is able to pick that up. Uh, this is the 5D Mark III with the uh, 50 millimeter 1.4 from Canon. So we got the 1.4 and then the incredible ISO ability of the 5D Mark III. So you can see the stars are pretty brilliant out here. Uh, they're not, this thing isn't picking up all of them, just the brightest of them, but uh, there's also quite a bit of light pollution where I am. I mean, it's fairly decent, but uh, over there you can see we're getting some light pollution. Hey, how's it going? Today we are going to do a star trail with the Pluto trigger. I don't know if you can see that, but I have my camera set into bulb mode, um, aperture 2.8, ISO 800. I'm using my 40D because I'm recording this video on the 5D um, using the Canon 16 to 35 2.8 version 1. Uh, you can see that I have my focus set to infinity. Um, so I have the Pluto trigger plugged into the camera over here and I will now get my Pluto app out and I'll see if we can see what's going on there. It's pretty dark out here. We have a new moon. Perfect com uh, perfect settings conditions for a star trail attempt. My neighbors are being crazy over there. I don't know if the audio is picking them up or not uh, but uh, here you go. We got we're gonna do 10 shots 30 second uh, release or uh, shutter speed, or yeah, 30 second shutter speed, three second gap in between the photos and a zero second delay. So that's what we're gonna use for our settings. I'll go ahead and turn on my Bluetooth now, and then I will turn on the Pluto as well. Sorry for the dark video. Like I said, it's super dark out here. So you just turn on the Pluto with the switch at the top. I synced this previously. And uh, there you go. So we're all set up. And I'm just going to hit play. I have the camera on manual focus. It's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see what happens. Uh, I assume you heard the shutter click there, so it's going to do a 30 second exposure. That one will probably be ruined because I had the flashlight on the back of the camera. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Those are the settings. And uh, when I get this done, I'll show you how to post-process the whole thing and show you what I came up with. Here's what the Pluto looks like on the phone while it's operating. Um, you can see there's the countdown timer there. And it gives you the option to stop it. And uh, you can also see that it uh, clicks when it's supposed to. I think you heard that right when I started the video. If not, there's another one coming up fairly soon here. I'll just hold on. Maybe. Okay, there the shutter clicked off. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. There it started again with a three second delay in between. So we only have uh, two more minutes left on this one. Pretty short star trails but uh, I, I think they'll turn out okay. Okay, the time lapse has ended and you can see it's just back there to normal. So now I have my shots. I'll uh, go ahead and upload those into Photoshop and I'll show you how to make a star trail. Okay, I'm going to assume that you know how to get your photos to this point, um, opened up in Adobe Camera Raw or something similar. Now the 40D isn't exactly the greatest at taking nighttime photos. Uh, it definitely has its limitations as far as ISO go and image quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these look a little bit better. See if I remember how to do this. Um, obviously the 5D would have been the better choice. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen them. I usually go to about 50 with the sharpening. So I'm just gonna do one image and then I'll duplicate the settings on all of them. I uh, bump the contrast all the way up to get rid of that some of that light pollution down here and then I will usually bump the clarity as well which gives us a little bit more detail in the stars and uh, maybe eh, I was gonna bump the exposure but uh, it brought out that light pollution so I'll see what I can do by bumping the highlights a little bit um, it definitely made the stars pop also brought up the light pollution I think I'm gonna leave it right there 
So then I'm going to go ahead and select all these photos over here in the film strip and then uh, right click in sync settings. And then once all that's done, we're going to go ahead and open all of these. Now I think there's a way to open them all as layers within one, um, one file, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open all of these and then um, put them in one file as separate layers. I'll probably cut that part out of the video because it's a little bit tedious and I do have 11 images here. Okay, I have all of my images into one layer and this is the part where we get the star trail. So we go ahead over here to our layer menu and we just start switching them to lighter color. So we'll just go down the line until we switch all of them, except for the background layer, to lighter color. As you can see already, we're starting to get some streaks. It's amazing how far the stars move in just 30 seconds. Now, I really should have put a foreground <laughs> on these so you could see the have some, something more of an interesting image, but uh, I decided to just point it at the sky. Uh, there was a boat on the lake that had lights on and I didn't want it to disrupt the image. So I did not put any trees or anything in this image, which would have obviously made it more interesting. And also I only did five minutes worth of shots, so they're not gonna be complete, it's not gonna be like a complete circular star trail. But uh, there you have it. That is the results of our work. You can see we got some pretty sweet star trails going on there, and uh, the Pluto trigger performed marvelously. There you have it, folks. That is our star trail. You can save the image or do whatever you want with it, um, but uh, that's how you make a star trail with the Pluto trigger. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos, and have an awesome day.